It's Euro 2016 and it is also the transfer market, which means we are keeping a keen eye on who is going to win press out there. And these are my top 10 players to watch at Euro 2016. Starting at number 10, Elsied Haizaj. That's what his name looks like. That's how I'm saying it. Albania's right back. He plays for Napoli and he has got out of the team Christian Maggio. He's gone over him. He has chalked up over 150 appearances for Empoli and Napoli at the age of just 22. And one Italian journalist has named him as one of the best 11 young players in Serie A. Now, number nine, Antti Koric. Now, that isn't a 70-year-old woman like it sounds, but it is hope of the year for Croatia which is sort of their equivalent of Young Player of the Year, but they say hope of the year. They just hope they'll be good. They don't really think they'll be good. They're just hoping they'll be good. But previous winners include Luka Modric, so he has big shoes to fill. In at number eight, Ashley Williams, the Welsh centre-back, highly rated by Rio Ferdinand. He's been pretty consistent in the Premier League for a few years now, but he has never got the chance to prove himself on the biggest stage. It was rumoured at one point to be going to Arsenal, maybe playing in the Champions League. This is his big chance to prove if he can do it at the top level. In at number seven, Alessandro Schoff. Sh They're not making this easy for me. Schoff, that's his surname, Schoff. He is a dynamic Austrian centre midfielder who has earned a move to Schalke. He's sort of really developed a reputation as a goal scoring midfielder and he's only at the time of recording got three caps for Austria but he has scored one goal and we're not basing this stat on that but he does average one goal in every three games so he's one to look out for if he gets the start. In at number six, Granit Xhaka. Now most of you will know that Arsenal have shelled out reportedly around 30 million for this defensive midfielder and I'm going to be watching him to see what we're up against. In at number five, it's my main man, Marcus Rashford. We all know what this guy can do. On his debut, he scored two goals against Midgetland. I still don't know if you say Midgetland, but I like saying Midgetland. Then he scored two against Arsenal. He's just been an absolute boss. England debut, three minutes. Yes, please, mate. We don't know if he's going to be starting, but I reckon he'll see some game time and it is very exciting to see him out there. Come on, Marcus! In at number four, Andre Gomez. Now, there has been a lot of rumours linking this guy to Manchester United. Currently plays for Valencia, so I reckon Gary and Phil are probably putting in a good word. Let's have him. In at number three, Anthony Martial. Now, I know I've been a bit biased and I'm getting pretty enthusiastic for the United players, but this guy has been sensational for United. He comes for loads of money. Everyone's like, what are United doing? They don't, they don't know what they're doing. They're paying like 50 million for this kid. Banging him in. He's been absolutely incredible. He has yet to score for France, but if he can do what he has done for United on the big stage at Euro 2016, he is going to be one to look out for. In at number two, Harold Kane. Little Harry Kane of Tottenham Hotspur. Had an incredible first season. People didn't think he could do it again. He did it again. He has forced his way into the England Starting 11. Looks like he will be the main man leading the attack. And I think if we get to the quarters or the semis, he could be the top scorer of the tournament. But he's not number one. Because in at number one is Antoine Griezmann. That's how I like to say his name. Because I don't know how. Is it Anton or Antoine? It's spelled Toy Twine. Anyway, he is Atletico Madrid's versatile forward. And I'm sure his penalty miss in the Champions League final will only fire him up more to make an impact in his home country. Just imagine him and Martial playing together. It could be incredible and that is why he is our number one. So that's it. Top 10 players to look out for in Euro 2016. Let me know if you think I've missed someone out. Let me know if someone doesn't deserve to be in that list. Tell me, put your comments below and subscribe to Full Time Devils. Back on Full Time Devils, Francis Maxwell here, your favourite Scott with a bowl cut and a bow tie. Try to see it on my hairdresser. I asked him for an in-between of a Sal Niguez and a Sergio Ramos. I think he's done it pretty well.